Good morning, everyone. It's that time again. Time for me to go to Comic-Con. Emerald City Comic-Con 2024. I did go last year, but I think I mentioned in a previous video, I accidentally was recording at too high of a quality for my computer to handle to edit. So that's why there wasn't a video. But thankfully, I remember from my mistakes and I'll be able to make a video this time. All right, I got it all packed up and we're gonna go to the airport and let's go. Okay, so my hotel room isn't ready yet. Thankfully, I was able to leave my bags at the hotel while I go to pick up my uh, badge at Will Call. Matt Murdock. Okay, got my badge, and I ended up at the Autographs and Photo Op Hall, which is a good reference for later. So I'm just gonna do a little look around first. And after a grueling detour, we finally made it to the convention, so the main floor. So let's have some fun. Day one was okay. I wasn't expecting too much because I arrived really late. So I'm gonna cut to day two and hopefully it's a bit more eventful. Quick room tour before we get on to day two. I am on the 19th floor. I am very high up. Hopefully, yeah, I'll be fine. All right, last time I was facing that way now this time my bed is facing this way. It's king size bed, which is a lot more than I'm used to. And bathroom. There is very good lighting. I, I might make some TikToks. Wow, my hair is messed up. Might make like a TikTok or two for when I put on my cosplays like I normally do. And bathroom. So yeah, that is my room. And I will see you off at day three, where I am the amazing Spider-Man. Okay, day two. I know I'm wearing my Avatar hoodie, but I'm wearing my costume under it because it's a little chilly. So the plan is right now to head over to the autograph booth, which is in a separate building this year. And I have my critical role photo op from New York City Comic Con back in October, 
and now I'm going to have the cast sign it. Today it will be the lovely Laura Bailey and the amazing Ashley Johnson. So I might try to, s they're not allowed to have photos or like pictures or videos. I mean, I've seen plenty of people try to sneak in videos while they're doing it. So I'm gonna try and do that. If not, I'll just say how it goes. All right. Okay, so in the full cosplay, turns out that the autographs aren't until like 1.30, so that's fine. So slight hiccup, but I'll just come back to it later. So let's go back to the main room and just look around, see if I can find some of my fellow cosplay friends and just, you know, take some pictures and have fun. Comic-Con, a claustrophobic's worst nightmare. Critical Role fans will get this reference. Gosh, Sam Miles, I think I make this look better than you do. So, it's about lunchtime. I have pretzel and a drink to save money on not getting soda. Got my G subs. <sighs> this is a good decision. Okay, uh, finished the autographs with Laura and Ashley. It's very grueling wait. I was here since noon. It is now almost 5 p.m. But that's to be expected. They both sold out and it's Saturday too. So almost everything is sold out on Saturday, but okay, come on. Got a little XOXO from Laura and an OK 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 from Ashley. Uh, so that was great. Funny thing happened uh, while I was waiting for Laura. Someone was uh, getting something for Travis. It was a dice tower made of wood, and he immediately went to his Chetney voice and was like, "You really know your shit." And uh, that was just that's a highlight. I love this cast a lot. So yeah, day two is a wrap. I can rest my feet for a little bit. I head back to my hotel as we move on to day three, where I am. Vengeance. How many more bones will you crush? How many lives will you destroy in pursuit of what you call justice? You are the product of everything you fear. Violence, darkness, helplessness. All that remains is for you to watch 
as I drag your beloved Gotham into oblivion. Last day of Emerald City Comic Con. I just got this new cowl and it is so much better than my original. So what I was saying earlier is originally this costume came with a cowl, but it was made of latex. So it was like really loose and I had to wear a beanie on top of that. Now this, 3D printed. I still have to wear a balaclava because it doesn't not cover my neck, but it's way more defined. And honestly, it's just awesome. Okay. Day three. Let's make this one count. Hopefully, I'm not making myself wait for too long. Because when, when we first saw him, I was like, hey, that's cool and scary. And what's that creature I want one that he gets to ride on? So I'm going to probably take it from him at some point. Um, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm excited to see where that goes and what that purpose was for of making Fern Rudisborn. 
uh, me wanted to just respond in, in kind. Do you know what I mean? Like, eh, it triggered the, the jester response. And it was so hard to, to contain it, go, I don't know who this person is. I can't, what, what, what would the response be? So, mm, I'm very excited. <laughs> very excited. <laughs> Uh, I was also just super excited to have Jester resurface in our campaign. And I mean, she's like, we all love her so much. she's with Caleb, he goes and finds her when he needs to talk to somebody? What happened? Like, did he get a message and then he was like, I can't respond. I have to teleport immediately to where Jester is so that she can help me respond. To yeah, the uh, hello, dog dog, uh, Jester, are you pooping? <laughs> Uh, as far as the Dorian of it all, um, there were very... Stop it. Uh, I mean, the, what the Imogen's reasoning was sound. Dorian could have been asleep or away from his rock. 100%. Not 100%, and that's the problem. Um, it's gonna be, it's just gonna be like Schrodinger's cat for Orm. He'll think like, yeah, of course, it's of course. There's, there's very valid reasons why he wouldn't pick up the call, but it, there, you know, there's 5% doubt in his it head. It was the middle of the night. Caleb was awake, Jester was awake. Well, s w sending's different, you know? It just goes straight to your head. If you don't have the rock right next to you, you're not gonna hear it straight in your head. I hope he's okay. Okay, I had to rush from the summit building to the photo op in autograph hall, because getting a photo op with some of the main cast of Avatar, it's been one of my favorite shows. I am very sweaty, as you could probably see, and I am very warm in this hoodie. I took most of my gear off. You'll see in the video. Okay, so photo op went well, went a little fast. It is still a little weird that I have the makeup circles under my eyes, but eh, I made it work. I was very warm. I'm very warm right now. As you can see, I'm not wearing any of my gear, but yeah. I was last in line, but the line to get to the photo op was pretty quick. But like, the line to get the actual picture itself and then the cover for it was like really backed up because it accidentally got meshed in with the Lord of the Rings one. So I'll give my full thoughts and review at the end of the video. So let's go explore the con a little more, take a few more pictures after I eat. And then I still have a Travis Willingham and Marisha Ray autograph. So let's go cut to more of some stuff. That was English. I'm tired and hungry. So, quick update. I had to head back to my hotel. Nothing's wrong, but uh, I noticed while I was putting all my gear back on, I noticed a problem with the suit. There is a hole in my, my suit's rear end. I tore a hole in my suit's butt. So, not wanting to deal with that, I'm gonna go back to my apartment and switch back into Matt Murdock. Because honestly, I didn't get enough matte content. And honestly, it's just the comfiest of all of them. So, at the con, as Matt Murdock now, I have banana and a pretzel, and I'm gonna make still some cheese subs. question for the greatest recover of our channel. Oh yes, please! When you eventually find a piece of moon wood, what would you carve out of such a fine specimen? It's a good question. It's either going to be a copy of Ruidus itself, or uh, a version of the sun, or 
A dagger? Because if we meet Pradathos, might as well stab it this with where it comes from. It's like a vampire. Yeah, good to see you. There Cheers. You go. Fucking rad. Then let me see. You might go down here? Or? Uh, I do want to get everyone, so get whatever, everybody? you get much, enough room for everyone. I'm afraid this will be dark down here. You find if I use a different color? Totally fine. Pops? Okay. Ba 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 ba. Wonder if. Wonder if blue will work. Let's try it. Not really. Purple it is. At first I was like, well, it looks alright, but I was like, rose tinted glasses. Yeah, yeah, yes. So I do have a question. Yeah. Last episode, Jesser was able to message Imogen, and Imogen messaged finding Keyleth. And yeah. since Mighty Nine seems to be all together, that means that Beauregard is probably going to interact with Keyleth. How do you see that interaction going? Correct. Uh, you know, I think uh, Bo has always had a problem with authority. And Keyleth is too nice, so... I can see Bo like secretly making fun of Keyleth in front of her uh, without Keyleth even knowing what she's doing. So, yeah, it's gonna be, yeah. Have a good turn. We'll see. Yeah. Thank you so much for everything that you guys do. Thank you. Thanks for coming to see us. Okay, so I was able to finally get Travis and Marisha, as you can see. So I have half of the cast signed. What's crazy is that yesterday, I came in at around 12 to get it started. I didn't leave till like five. Today, I went in at like two, like like two-ish, a little, little past two, around two. I did, it's like three o'clock. So I was able to get two of them in the span of an hour as opposed to yesterday, where it was like five hours. It was crazy. So I actually have way more time to explore the con and let's go make the most of it. You're being sued by Wilson Fisk for destruction of property. You're going to Needlesburg. Nelson Murdoch and Page will be able to help you pro bono. Okay. Well, Hunter, uh I am your new lawyer by my butt, and unfortunately you're being under investigation for some destruction of private property. You might want to lay low. Go fuck yourself. Maxwell, my name is Matthew Murdoch, and unfortunately you're being sued on behalf of people who are investigating. For what? What are you? I know nothing about anything. I am a mother trying to protect my children. Plausible well, deniability. It's always good. It's finally over. Now, Emerald City Comic Con 2024 is a wrap. Time for play everyone's favorite game, What the Hell Did J-Dog Get? So, firstly, yesterday I got the Amazing Fantasy 15 Spider-Man Funko. And then we've got Super Saiyan God Goku. Super Saiyan God is honestly my favorite Dragon Ball transformation because I just love the color red. And I'm, I'm the kind of guy who takes the Funkos out of the box. So I don't know if I might actually take this one out. I probably will. So yeah. So then I got a photo op with the voices of Aang, Katara, Sokka, and Zuko from Avatar. Avatar was my entire childhood. And to be able to just experience them in person for even a second, it's always a pleasure. Yeah, 
Uh, this was early when I was still in Batman, so it was a little awkward to have uh, makeup on my eyes, but I don't think they mind. Then, of course, we have... That's not... Okay, yeah. We've got four out of eight autographs from the cast of Critical Role. Got a little XOXO from Laura Bailey. An OK, OK, OK from Ashley Johnson. A little to Justin from Chetney with Travis and a pop pop from Marisha. So yeah, four down, four to go. I think next time, whatever convention I'm going to that they're gonna be at, I am immediately going to get the autograph from Matt first and check out because usually everyone else doesn't sell out as quickly. Because yeah, Matt sells out quickly because it's Matt. All right, and in terms of Bix, I got. Daredevil Born Again, and Spider-Man Life Story. Like, these two are some of the best. These two are some of the best stories for each respective character. And I'm glad I can collect it all in one book and not individual comics. <sighs> Super awkward. But yeah. So, got all that. Time for the review. Uh, it was good. But I think my biggest problem is I always felt like I was in a rush. And that's mainly me. For I, This was very last minute. Like if I planned ahead a bit more, I probably wouldn't have felt like this. I don't feel burned out, but like I flew in on Friday. And then by the time I got to the convention, it was already like three o'clock. So there was that. And then like all of the waiting for the two autographs with Laura and Ashley, it's totally fine. I think conventions constantly underestimate the critical role fan base, critters as we're called. Like I feel like they're always underestimated. And also yesterday, like Saturdays are usually sold out, but I hear I heard from another like attendee that it was a record. So yeah, that's definitely something I think the people working on the lines did a good job. The staff, they did their job. And Sunday was, which was today, was crazy. As you saw, I attended a critical role panel, but I had to leave like 15 minutes early to get to my avatar, which was in another building, which is one of the problems. Autographs and photo ops are in a different building, which it helps spread out the herd a little bit, but it also makes it really inconvenient. It just like if someone wants to go to a panel, but then they have a photo op, they have to leave the panel early before they get the chance to ask a question and just, they have to book it. Cause with the avatar one, I was last in line. Like if I didn't, wasn't paying attention when they were calling out the last group, I would have missed out on it, which would have sucked. So, if I were to go next year for 2025, I would definitely plan more ahead. So yeah, that's pretty much what I would do, plan more ahead. Overall, I did have a good time. Thank you so much again, Emerald City Comic Con, for giving me a creator pass, much like last year. This time, I am actually gonna be able to make a YouTube video out of this. I, I made a lot of content, met up with some old friends. So I had a good time, don't get me wrong. I had a good time. I don't know what my next convention is gonna be, so be on the lookout for my socials for that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a thumbs up and a comment, and I will see you all next time in the next video. All right, peace out.